One candidate told all the clergymen in the north to persuade Kwang Kwaso to step down for him. Buba Galadima, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. During an interview with Channel Television, the NNPP chief team, Buba Galadima, stated that Kwan Kwaso is the favorite to win the presidential election, adding that the presidential candidate has been persuading him to step down for him. He further stated that the presidential candidate had a consultant from France to help him predict the likely winner of the 2023 election, and he said Kwan Kwaso. According to him, one of the candidates gathered all the clergy in northern Nigeria and asked them to persuade Pongosu to step down for him. One of the candidates gathered all the traditional rulers in northern Nigeria and told him to tell Pongosu to step down for him. One of the candidates went to all the prominent people from northern Nigeria and asked them to persuade Pongosu to step down for him. <laughs> hey, these are politicians. They will never cease to, as in, they know they disappoint. See, I had it in mind that Kwan Kwaso is likely to come out and tell us, say, you know, the run for presidency again. And it will be the making of one person. So right now, we don't know whether na Atiku, we don't know whether na B2B, we don't know whether na Tenubu. Hmm. It is getting more interesting, oh. You know? It is getting more interesting. Let's see how it all plays out. Does it mean that only Kano will give Kwan Kwaso the vote to win election in Nigeria? Anyway... Let us watch and see. Well, okay. Tunubu and his desperation. Well, the person that this man now that came out to say this did not tell us whether it was actually Tunubu or not. Speak for yourself. Don't say, okay, okay, irrational. You speak like an irrational person. Whether I like it or not, Tunubu is our next president. Now, this hour, now they cause problem. I've said it. If you are a candidate, you, you say he's your next president, eh? It is not. It is not possible that the whole Nigerian was going to align with one person. I beg. Speak for yourself. Don't say Tunubu is the next president. Just narrate to you and your family. Even within your family, it is very possible that they are not going to vote for the same person as you are. Both Tunubu and Atiku are not the best choice for Nigeria now. One of the oldest and foolish sentimental elder called Galadima, a very shameless man. This is actually wrong. I have said it severally here. This thing, what would they do? Maybe say we think, say nobody they see us, especially when you feel, oh, it's social media. They cannot see my face, you know. Oga, <laughs> okay, well, let me continue. As in, I don't refuse to be very civil in our words. One of the oldest sentimental elder called Galadima, running after money, claiming to be an elder statesman. I am sure even your children are. No, this is too harsh. I can't go on. Thank God the so-called your choice candidate has no place in this forthcoming election. Ah, oh no, this person was too brutal. This is not right. This fellow has started again you know, plotting and distributing wahala for Nigeria. All he sees is religion and ethnicity and nothing more. Well, what do we have to do in place of that? And I say this man, the, the, uh, according to this man now, he the plot and distribute wahala. If the wahala richer said, you, you know, collect now. That means you are going to vote along lines of competency, compatibility. I say compatibility, competency, credibility, and uh, capability. Okay. I did not know that Chief Ayo, Adebanjo, and the entire Fennifer are IPOB members. Okay. Is, is it your IPOB life patron to be that can win? I did not know that Chief Ayo, Adebanjo, and the entire Fennifer are IPOB members. The Middlebed Forum by Edwin Clark of Niger Delta Forum. Chief Olushego Basanjo, ETC, our LIPOB members. I think you need rehabilitation. <laughs> rehabilitation. Even Governor Basaki confessed that the Bidens are in almost all the families in Edo State. Obi is the next president. You people like I don't I don't like how this predict and win. I like I like seeing things play out. I said it before that the the what thing they give life, the spice of life is the uncertainties. You not knowing what is going to happen tomorrow. They make life life now. Imagine where you know what is going to happen tomorrow. I mean, there is nothing going to be interesting about it. Yes. Okay. Rabiu Musa Kwankwaso is a formidable threat and forces to anybody's ambition, both APC, PDP, and others. Wonderful. Wonderful. And it is true. Look, if you are a presidential candidate and you are underestimating anybody, even if that person is SDP, even if the person is APGA, 
even if the person is APGA, and you are all confident that you're going to win the election, oh guy, you will fail. I they tell you, the rule of marketing eh, is not to, even if a company come out today, and your company has been there for 25 years, you have to keep your gut high, your wall high. You have to keep, anything you are doing should be high. Because if you decide to lose guard, to lose guard and mm, mm, to relax a little bit, after all, my competitor, they're just a new company, you know, they don't know. Oh, God, they will come, before you know it, they don't meet up with you. And then you are going to be struggling, you know, with your customers and them. They will call your customer. So that is it. So this man is saying somebody has been pressurizing uh, Arabi Yukonkwasu to step down. Well, I think... It is possible they might be treating this, so they might be treating this, but we no go can't know who be the main person where they tell Rabi Musa Kwankwa so making no one for presidency. Already, already I'm not feeling Kwankwa so anymore. I know they feel this new Nigerian People's Party, to be very sincere with you. In fact, again one talk I say what are they telling I say this talk never done. Say if it done, I'm going to tell you people. It's because I know can they feel before, initially, we talk about the New Nigerian People's Party, we talk about the Labour Party, we talk about APC, we talk about PDP, you know. But these days, you know, I know I no longer hear from even the Rabbi Musa Kwankwasu anymore. I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe he does his own campaign and discussions offline or, or uh, just for the Northern Ass alone. Maybe he's counting or basing on the Northern Ass winning the election for him. But if he's doing that, Omo, the guy, he did wrong. He has to reach out to everybody. Okay, if you believe this man, you will believe anything. Well, <laughs> so he said we could not believe him. But like I said, I have this feeling that, I have, in fact, this, there are two people that I know that they can actually go and persuade people to step down for them. I know. And I know you people know as well. Okay, we don't need Babala was to decipher who that candidate is. Geratris intricated with power. Is it a wonder our youths have metamorphosed into desperados? Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Boba Galadema is preparing for soft landing base for his principal in the event of the likely step down. It will be a good political romance with the NNPP. Hmm. All right, one candidate. How is that candidate? Stop exaggeration. If you know what you're saying is true, call the name. <laughs> okay. So what? Is it not better for him instead of wasting his precious vote for nothing? Like, I don't understand. If you want to step down, let him do that first. So we already know that he's going to do that. Now the game plan all along. Like I said, even me, I used to think because I'm not going to hear Rabbi Yomosa Kwankwa. So I don't hear from him. He spokesperson. Like, they know they give us their news. You understand? So I'm not going to be surprised too if I hear today that, oh, Rabbi Musa Kwankwasu or the NNPP have collapsed the structure into another political party.